Family, friends, and members of Northern California's Muslim community gathered at the California Islamic Center to bid farewell to Abdullah Hassan. We are not angry, and we know our son did not die in vain. His death now a symbol in the fight against the Trump administration's travel ban, which affects five majority Muslim countries, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, and Yemen. His father, Ali, addressed the congregation about how the ban has affected his family, including his wife, Shema Swile, a Yemeni national. The Muslim ban kept my, my wife from coming to the U.S. for over a year. It forced me to choose between my son's health and keeping our family together. He thanked the community and the Council on American-Islamic Relations for their support and expressed hope that Abdullah's death might bring policy change. That we hope through his life, policy will be changed and families will be reunited. Abdullah's body was taken to California Islamic Cemetery for burial, his body positioned towards Mecca. CARE Sacramento Valley civil rights attorney Saad Swalem said the case shows the realities of the ban. I think this was an embarrassment to the Trump administration, and it should be. They should be embarrassed. So hopefully they'll look at this case and realize the consequences of their policies, and it'll change things for uh, other families going forward. CARE Sacramento Valley says Abdullah's mother was granted an immigrant visa and will now be able to stay in the U.S. permanently, forever near her son's final resting place. In Lodi, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.